So you are telling me that of the six judges in this county, anyone could be assigned, which means I could get that Indian judge for my case. Okay. I will tell you what happened. I was not trying to tamper with the evidence. Nor did I, nor do I have anything to do with the murder of Mr. Aslam. Oh, bless his soul. About two weeks ago, totally by chance, I got to know that Mr. Aslam was coming to this country. You see, back when I was in Hyderabad, I used to work at office. I used to go to his shop every day for the tea. You have to believe me when I say this. There are many, many shops in Hyderabad that serves tea. But Aslam Bhai's tea was the tea. So when I heard he's coming here, I got excited. I went to meet him and have that tea one more time. You probably don't know or realize that, you know, the tea that they sell here in this country isn't tea. Sorry. Anyways, I found the contact details and I called them. Of course, some I didn't remember me. I was just one of the hundreds of people who pilgrimed to his shop every day for the tea. But he was happy to hear that I knew him. So he invited me over and uh, said, that wasn't enough. He said this, I will make you a special tea. An improved recipe, it seems. We agreed upon a date and time. And for the next few days, it pokes my mind very gently back from dreaming to whatever I was doing several times. So when I went to meet him, the door was open and no one answered the bell. Aslam Bhai, I called. There was silence except for the sound of the staff in the kitchen. So I went to the kitchen. And that's when I saw Aslam Bhai lying on the ground. There was no pulse. There was a teacup and a little tea lying spilled next to him. The kitchen back door was completely open and swinging as if someone had just gone out. On the kitchen slab was another cup. And in it, freshly served the Was this a special tea that was invited to promised? Was this made for me? But then, if Zimbai was murdered, and it certainly looked suspicious, the tea would be evidence. The worst still, it may be poisoned. Then again, this may be the very tea that the greatest tea maker of Hyderabad chose to call special. And it may never be made again. So you see my dilemma? I stood there trying to make a decision. I was almost ready to do what an honorable citizen would do. It happened. First, 
There was the cold breeze that came through the open door. Then, the patching in the roof and the window panes. Sir, rain 